Okay, these are the ambulance notes. 14 month old, playing in swift moving river, has been washed off feet, tumbling 50 metres down river with possible head strikes. Found by parents unconscious in water, no response, cardiac arrest. CPR commenced by bystanders, ambulance called. HEMS 2, which is air ambulance, dispatched. I thought, this young girl's got very little chance of surviving. And you know what's coming for the next at least 72 hours in terms of managing the child, talking to family, waiting. They're seeing a lifeless child who's dependent on technologies to sustain their lives. They're loving parents. I remember speaking with them at the bedside. And families at this stage are completely shocked. I'm not sure what information they take in at that point and how it swirls in their minds. But they know it's grim and they know hours tick away and there's uncertainty and I can't give them certainty. I see that at some point, close to the 72 hour mark, Amy starts to make movements and she's reaching uh, for the tube. And that's a sign that her brain function is re recovering. Not all children who have such a, an event are near drowning and CPR outside of a hospital get to the point of survival, let alone intact survival. Those that were there bystanding and found her and provided CPR saved her life. Commonly families say they're only out of my contact for less than a minute, but that's all it takes. It's at beaches, it's at waterways, it's in the home, it's in the shower or the bath. It's a fundamental thing about having children around water. They need to be within eye contact. They need to be close. You need to keep your eyes on the little guys.